And the Hep B vaccine is for hepatitis B, which is a sexually transmitted disease and IV drug user disease, of course, which babies are not going to be exposed to. Um, and yet every single baby in America is getting the intervention. So from the literally the day we are well, born, why? We're so, you, I mean, why not test the pregnant mother for those? They do. Okay. So they give it to the women who, even if they have tested negative, which should be the, the overwhelming babies. majority. It, absolutely. So my one day old isn't going to be having sex or doing heroin right away. So what's the purpose of getting this on the schedule in the first day of life, the first hours of life? Unfortunately, this conversation is not including the most common way newborns can get hepatitis B, and that is due to vertical transmission from utero or delivery. And yes, if you have routine prenatal care, you should get tested for hepatitis B. So why should you give this vaccine to your newborn if you are hep B antigen negative? It comes down to benefit versus risk. For hep B antigen positive mothers, the transmission rate for a positive mother can be as high as 70 to 90%. And for happy antigen negative mothers, the transmission rate from a negative mother is generally lower, around 5 to 10%. But it's not zero because of false negative or acquiring the infection later in pregnancy. If you are certain you are hep B negative in a truly monogamous relationship and you are not a drug user, you could decline or delay the vaccine, but your child should get the vaccine eventually to protect them in their future as hep B later in life is incurable. But even if you're hep B negative, the benefit in general outweighs the risk in the postnatal period to consider giving this vaccine to protect your baby from a low risk of perinatal transmission and also for future protection that they'll need anyways. See below for more.